hula hula Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula Let's kick off, we're all ready to roll It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol Wake up, Gorga, it's time to play Come on, Captain Bula, let's welcome the day Where's that cedar, ready to go? Wizzy and Wig are good to go Speakers bubbling, turning blue Mortals making something new Way, way out where the planets do the hula Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula See your round ball, submission control It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol Way, way out where the planets do the hula Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula See your round ball, submission control It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol Space. When contemplating its timelessness, one can only say... Make way! Step aside! Move it! Invitations to deliver! Why, there you are, sugar. Whatever did you bring me? Fan mail? Not today, Venus. But here's an invite to the Planet Moon Picnic. You'll have a swell time. There'll be all kinds of food and games, like pin the tail on the comet. Oh, I do declare. It sounds absolutely divine. I can't wait to go. Great. I'll put you down as a definite yes. Now, how many moons will you be bringing? Well, Sugar, I haven't got any moons. Really? Well, no matter. There'll be plenty of moons there already. Just about all the other planets will be bringing theirs. Oh, uh, how nice. Well, got it, Jet. Lots more invitations to deliver! Hello. Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm fine, just a little upset. Well, it's about the picnic. Seems the other planets are bringing their moons. and Well, I don't have one to bring. What? Get a moon of my own? Why, sure, I'd love to, but how? the other planets how they got their moons. Why, that's a splendid idea, Sugar. So, can I put down that the Zula Patrol will be official judges of the Planet Moon Potato Sack Race? Definitely. We'll be there. Every planet I've talked to so far will be bringing their moons. Except Venus, of course, since she doesn't have any. Funny, she seemed a little upset about that. Well, gotta go. <laughs> I didn't know that about Venus. Don't all the planets have moons? Gee, I'm not sure, but I know where we can find out. You helping Molto today? Just keeping an eye on him, darling. Mind if we borrow the Moltopedia? Go right ahead. Welcome, I am Luna. In my travels, I've learned much about moons, which I'll gladly share. Some moons are round like Earth's moon while others are lumpy, like Mars' two moons, Phobos and Deimos, which are shaped like potatoes. And moons come in all sizes, from tiny moonlets to the four giant Galilean moons of Jupiter. So there are lots of moons, and they're all different. But do all the planets have moons? No, not all the planets have moons. Thanks, Luna. different moons at the picnic. Let's start a moon field book. Oh, I forgot to ask Luna. How did the planets get their moons? So how did you get your moon, Saturn? Say like little old Phoebe over there. Phoebe? Well, frankly, my dear Venus, I have a lot of pull. The pull of gravity. That invisible force that pulls things toward a planet. Long ago, I was an eager young planet, a real go-getter, always on the lookout for another moon or two. Then what should I see but a wandering chunk of ice and rock whooshing by? I don't even think it noticed me, until it got close. Ha-ha! <laughs> but by then it was captured, caught by the pull of gravity. Phoebe went right to work as a moon and has stayed ever since. You captured a moon? Gracious, that is so interesting. Zula Patrol, Zula Patrol, 
This is Saturn. Come quick. My moon Phoebe is missing. This is a job for the Zula Patrol. I do declare. Was I speeding? No, ma'am. But you've taken a moon that's not really yours. Well, I never. I'm just borrowing Phoebe for the picnic. I was gonna give her right back. Honest. Thanks. See everyone at the picnic. Venus, you can't just go around borrowing moons. But we'll let you go with a warning this time. Well... We discovered one way planets get their moons. They capture or catch them with a pull of gravity. Oh, fiddle-dee-dee. And I still haven't got a moon. You're right. I should ask him. He has more moons than any planet. You want to know how I, Jupiter, got my biggest moons? Well, I'm glad you asked. Billions of years ago, a disk of gas and dust came together, swirling and slowly clumping. Becoming thicker until they finally formed me. And most of my moons. What a grand moment that was for the universe. So my biggest moons were made at the same time I was, from the same stuff. That's why they're so faboo. I captured most of my other moons just like Saturn. Of course, there was another idea going around for a while. Some folks thought I used to spin so fast that some of my surface just flew off and formed moons. <laughs> Is that possible, Sugar? To spin off a moon? Solar Patrol, you need to come quick. There's trouble. Whoa! We're on our way. Venus is spinning out of control. Zeter, stay close to her. <laughs> Venus, what is going on? Well, I, I thought I might spin to see if I could shake loose some of my surface to make a moon. But I believe I may have spun a bit too fast. But in order to spin off a moon, you'd have to be hot enough to still be partly liquid. You've cooled down over the last few billion years. I suppose. Jupiter said it was just an idea some folks had. He told me his biggest moons were really formed at the same time he was, from the same stuff. Hear that? That's another way to make moons. Oh, guess I'll never have a moon. No, I'm not going to the picnic. Oh, someone's coming. Call you back. Greetings and good day. Do I have the honor of addressing the lovely Venus herself? Yes, I'm Venus. Call me Roy. Now, have I heard that you may be in the market to obtain a certain celestial object? A moon, to be exact. I can be of service for a price. Can you really? I, I don't need more than one. Just a nice little moon, say, like Earth's. I could arrange for you to get a moon the exact same way Earth did. Oh, I would be ever so grateful, sir. Your tanks and some of your thickest clouds is all that I need. It gets chilly out here. Now, I must go take care of everything. Sit tight. Your moon is on its way. Hi, it's me again. You'll never guess. I just met the most interesting asteroid who said that he could... Hello, quick! Emergency! Iris, what's wrong? I was just talking to Venus. She arranged to get herself a moon, the same way Earth did. My stars! Why didn't you stop her? She wouldn't listen. She hung up. Why is that bad? Oh, oh it's terrible! The Earth moon was formed in a different way than any other moon. It's called the Big Whack. Long, long ago, the Earth was nothing like it is today. And it had no moons at all. But then it was hit by an asteroid as big as Mars. Eventually, all that stuff that was whacked out of the Earth came together and formed the Earth's moon. And that's why they call it the Big Whack. But if Venus agreed to get a moon the same way Earth did, that means... Some huge asteroid is heading her way, ready to crash into her. 
The big whack? Well, that's just the silliest thing I ever heard. Now, excuse me. I'm getting ready to meet my moon. You've got to get out of the way. Zeter may not be able to stop it. The force field couldn't hold it. It's no good. We can't stop it. Oh, my. What are we going to do? Oh. A hologram? Good idea! The asteroid won't know which Venus to whack! Make more, Gorga! A lot more! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Huh? Huh? Yay! <laughs> Alright! <laughs> oh, you saved me! Thank you so much! Well, that's it! From now on, I can get along fine without a moon! You know, this all started because of the planet moon picnic. But there's no rule that says you have to have a moon in order to go. Okay, it's time for the planet moon potato sack race. So each planet, grab a sack, hop in with your moons, and we'll start the race. It's once around the sun and back. Well, I'm here, and I'm having a wonderful time. But I guess I can't enter the race since I don't have a moon. Wait a minute, wait a minute! Mercury, fancy meeting you here. Did I hear you say you don't have a moon? Did I? Well, neither do I. What a coinky dink What do you say we race together? Well, that suits me just fine. And so, until next time, we leave all the planets and their moons sitting in potato sacks. Hmm, I wonder what they did with all those potatoes. Time for our Malto moment. Who knows how the different moons were formed? Me! With chewing gum and duct tape. No way. Some moons were asteroids that were captured by a planet's gravity. And other moons were made at the same time as their planets, out of the same stuff. And then there's Earth's moon. When Earth was hit by a giant asteroid, part of Earth's surface flew off and became the moon. That's called the Big Whack. Really? Bet they could have used some duct tape then. Bye-bye. <laughs>